Hi, yesterday I did my first spray painting job using a pressure air pressure tank and um, there were things that I had no idea how to set up so and I couldn't find an answer on, on YouTube so I'm making a video here to show you if you're a very beginner how to set up your spray painter okay um, you're gonna have to you'll have a, your pressure tank I assume you already have that or are gonna rent it and then you have to buy this is a gravity feed uh, paint uh, dispenser okay you have the you screw this into the top here and you're going to put the paint in the top of that inside there uh, you should uh, dilute the paint uh, and you'll have instructions on the can of paint how to dilute the paint to use here okay so you put your paint in there and then um, your tank here has pressure setting for the tank itself and then pressure setting for what um, what's going to come out into your sprayer okay I'm going to be spraying at 50 psi so you have to turn this on and make sure the tank pressure has more pressure than what you're going to get out of it so I'm putting it I'm going to turn it on and get it up to 90 psi <laughs> demonstration sake I got it up to 80 and um, actually just over 60 but that's enough and then you're going to adjust this the pressure here you open it up and it goes down tighten it and it goes up and set it to the PSI that is uh, suggested I'm going to give you a link to another video that will show you how to make the fine tune adjustments to pressure. Okay? Now, insert your hose, pull it up, stick this in, there you go. The same with the other side, attach it to the spray can. I got this took this out of the box when I went to fit it there was no way to fit it on so um, what you need is to go back to the hardware store and buy a nipple that fits this pressure tank and there are three types of pressure tanks so what I did is I bought all three nipples found the right one and then took the other two back okay so you're gonna get that nipple on there Tighten it on, then you're going to fit that onto the other end of the hose. Oops, I had my hand on that. I don't have paint in here yet, so good idea to uh, wait. Okay, and that's just the very basic of how to actually put this together. Now, after you get the paint in here, you will need, need, need to practice on a piece of cardboard. Okay? Just as a warning, things that you're going to need also are lots and lots of paint thinner because this is a very messy job and paper towel. If you don't have paper towels, you're going to need a whole stack of napkins. Be sure to wear your grungiest clothes because this is going to be a very messy job and you are going to get uh, all sticky and messy. And um, just take you know, the clothes that you have for, uh, for doing yard work and you should be good. I'm on about my sixth coat of paint. 
So here we go. It's about halfway filled with paint. I'm going to thin it down with some paint thinner. Not a lot. There you go. Find something to stir it with. Because this is brand new paint, I'm not going to strain it, but if you're working with something that you've had around for a couple of months, you're going to need to strain it before putting it into the dispenser. There we go. Move this in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Yep. Okay, that's about 10 ounces, and that is going to cover my table, a good full coat, and the two leaves. Alrighty, the lid on. to have that handle depressed. Where's my cardboard? Practice. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, have your surface. Uh, you don't want it horizontal. You want it as vertical as you can get it. And you're going to start beyond and go beyond on both sides. Okay? Let it dry, repeat four, five, six, seven times. <laughs> 